Hey guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with my very special birthday book haul slash unboxing. Hey guys, my birthday was on September 22nd, and I have acquired some books. I have 21 books in total. Some of them are books I got for my birthday, and some of them I acquired um, before my birthday and in like the month and a half since my last book haul. So we are going to start with the books that I got for my birthday and then I'm going to go into all the ones I got before and after. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First I got this lovely package from Barnes & Noble that I got with some birthday money that I got. Uh, I got a lot of birthday money, so that means books. So. I thought this was going to be the cover that I wanted, but it's not. But at the same time, I don't even care. Um, it, it doesn't even matter. It's hardcover and nice and here. And it is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. So I thought I was ordering the purple cover that came out in hardcover on the same day Air of Fire came out, but apparently I didn't. But I don't even care. No care. I have actually already read this book, but I really, really wanted to get my own. So I, I have a copy, and in a sense, my lovely friend Pamela gave it to me because she gave me the money. The next book I picked up, I got with a Books A Million gift card, and it is The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Moss. This is the prequel, um, the, like there's like four or five prequel novellas in this bind up um, that go along with the Throne of Glass series. And I'm really excited because they're before Throne of Glass, and I'm not sure if I want to read this first or reread Throne of Glass. I don't know yet, but I'll figure it out soon. And then, of course, I made sure to pick up Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire, also by Sarah J. Moss. This is the second and third book in the Throne of Glass series. I'm not sure how many books are going to be in the series. I think it's like six, but Air of Fire being the most recent one, I'm really, really excited to get into this series again. I love it because it's a fantasy and it has to do with a kingdom and there's a sort of love triangle and I'm really excited because I haven't read Throne of Glass since like February and I need to reread it. The next book I got, my amazing friend Alyssa got it for me for my birthday and you've seen this in my wrap up actually because I read it in like two days and it is Where She Went by Gail Foreman. This is the sequel to If I Stay and this was fabulous. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because I talked about it in my wrap up which I will link down below. Um, but Alyssa tried to write my name fancy on the side and she kind of messed up so she wrote my name regular. But I don't even care. I, I have this book. It was amazing. I loved it and I'm so glad she got it for me because I really really wanted to read it especially after seeing If I Stay and going through that cliffhanger pain again. The next book I got, I also got with a gift card, and I'm really excited because I've wanted this since it came out, and it is Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. I'm currently reading this book, and I'm about 50 pages in, and I'm loving it so far. I read the prequel novella, The Fear Trials, and that one was really good, and it ended on a cliffhanger, and I really, really wanted to read this one and I'm so excited that I finally picked it up. So far I'm really loving this book and I can't wait to share my thoughts on it with you guys when ow, when I finish it. And the last book I got for my birthday I got from my mom and it is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. So I freaking love Rainbow Rowell books. I love Fangirl. I love Eleanor and Park and this is her new adult novel that came out in July I think. It came out on the same day as four. Um, but I'm really excited to get into this because I've only read her young adult novels. Um, I, I don't think this will be too much different because I love reading Rainbow Rowell's writing style and it's just, you can connect instantly. So I'm really super excited to read this. So now we're going to get into the books that I didn't get for my birthday that I acquired elsewhere, else how, whatever. So the first book you guys have also seen, but I actually won this in a Twitter giveaway, and it is An Arc of Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. Now this is the special edition, so it kind of came in this funky little box thing, but this is what the actual cover looks like. Well, on the finished copies it will. And 
this is the actual book. I freaking loved this book. It was so good. Again, another cliffhanger. Um, if you want to hear more of my thoughts on it, you can check out my wrap-up uh, for September, but I loved it. It was amazing. It also came with this author note that's upside down. Um, <laughs> And it looks like a burnt piece of paper, but it basically just explains what the book is about and how she brought science and fantasy together, and that was cool. And it also came with a bookmark uh, for Trial by Fire and a bookmark from the uh, blogger that I won it from. The next book I have, I got sent for review, and I actually just finished it yesterday, and it is Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Going into this book... I was not expecting an extremely scary story, and granted this wasn't an extremely scary story, but it still gave me some chills and freaked me out a little bit. And what I really love about this book is it basically looks like an Ikea magazine. The only thing I really hate about it is these slappy things that I really, really hate in books. But it's got like a map and, oh see this is why I hate slappy things and a catalog and in the back it's got like fake coupons and it was just really cool and I'd heard about it because they had given it out at a party at BEA and I re like really got interested in it and when Quirk messaged me about getting a review copy I said yes instantly. <laughs> so thank you Quirk Books for sending this to me. I might do a review or I may just do a mini review in my wrap up. I don't know yet. The next book I got is an arc of Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. I actually acquired this through Kat Heckenbach, who is the author that I did an interview with that I will link down below as well. Um, she did not like the book, so she gave it to me because she knew I really wanted to read it, and I freaking love this book. It was so good. They also gave this book out at uh, BEA this year, and I also wasn't able to go to BEA. Um, but I knew I really, really wanted to read it, especially when I heard about the uh, premise or synopsis, whichever floats your boat. So I'm really, really glad that she gave it to me. Thank you again, Kat, and I freaking loved it. But I talked about it more in my wrap-up, so again, that's linked down below. The next book I picked up I got from the Bookworm, and it is Beyonders, A World Without Heroes by Brandon Mull. I freaking love Brandon Mull's Fable Haven series, and this is another fantasy series that he has out. I think he's currently writing the fourth book, um, but I'm really excited to get into his other series because I loved the world of Fable Haven, and this sounds really interesting and it's really shiny. And the next book I got is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Ultimate Guide. Um, I didn't even know this was out. I found it randomly at the Bookworm, and I said, hey, I kind of like the Percy Jackson series. Let me buy this because some unknown reason. And it's really cool because it's got like the hologram right here. I don't know if you can see that. And then you open it. It has these different cards. And on these different cards you pull one out and it's got a character on it. So this is Annabeth and on the back it says also known as Demigod Daughter of Athena, hometown San Francisco, California. And then it says Weapon of Choice magic Yankees cap of invisibility and celestial bronze knife so thought that was interesting I mean it's nothing like the the Percy Jackson Greek gods book that came out but it's still kind of interesting and you go through it and it's got these different things like ten signs that you may be a half-blood um, different pictures of characters like this is Tyson and gods and spirits and all this cool stuff so I thought you know that'd be nice to have so I bought it. Next book I got I actually received in a Goodreads giveaway which is the first giveaway I've ever won on Goodreads and it is Adam Tussaud's Apprentice by Kathleen Benner Dubel Duble. I'm sorry. So first of all can we just appreciate how beautiful this cover is? It's I mean the red and the gold and the black it's just so pretty I actually kind of don't know what this is about I know it's like a love story about a thief and she's like taken under the wing of Madame Tussaud that's all I have it's set in France that's really nice but it's pretty short and I'm really excited to get into it and possibly review it um, I'm probably going to do a written review 
to post on Goodreads instead of the video review. I'm just really bad at video reviews. And the next book I received, it actually got sent to me randomly. I'm not even sure how she got my address. Well, I have an idea, but still not sure. And it is The Elite of the Week by Precarious Yates. I have no idea what this book is about. I do know the author, Precarious Yates. She is a friend of Kat's who um, I kind of met through Kat. So this was really, really nice of her to just send me a book of hers. Top of that, she signed it as well. It says, To Chloe, God bless you, Precarious Yates. So that's pretty awesome. Even though I have basically no idea what this book is about, I'm really, really excited to read it. Um, again, I may possibly review it because she sent it to me for nothing on my part. Um, probably going to review it. Again, I'm bad at video reviews, so yeah. So thank you, Precarious Yates, for sending this book to me. You really did not have to, but thank you for doing that anyway. The next book I also won in a giveaway. This is like the month for winning giveaways for me. I won this in a Twitter giveaway that the author was hosting, and it is The Bodies We Wear by Jen Roberts. So, no idea what this book is about. Again, all I know is that when I read the synopsis before I entered the giveaway, I was just like, oh hey, I want to read that. Click. And uh, I actually won, which really shocking for me. I never win things. The author also signed this one. It says, To Chloe, hope you enjoy Jen Roberts. And this is an ARC uh, copy of the book. The book is already out. I believe it came out uh, early September, maybe mid-September. I'm not exactly sure. So thank you, Jen, for posting the giveaway and sending this to me. Uh, really excited to read it. Again, I've said this about like the past couple books. I'm most likely going to review this because it was a giveaway and an ARC. Even though it's already out, I probably still will review it anyway. Basically, I have a lot of books to review. And the next book I got, you also saw in my September wrap-up, and it is Sweep Volume 1. I think it's Volume 1 by Kate Tiernan. This is the first three books in the Sweep series. Um, no idea why I bought this bind-up. Well, I kind of do. I have all the Sweep books, but I wanted to collect uh, these because they take up like less space, kind of. Major bookstores no longer sell the uh, small individual copies, but I sent out the uh, my single individual copy of Book of Shadows for the traveling book, and I had this one, so yeah. So now I have basically two copies of the first three books because I have the the books over there, and I'm not going to get rid of them because major book I mean major bookstores don't sell them anymore. So I have one that's going to come back in September uh, from the traveling book, but other than that, I'm keeping them. I think. And the next book I got is a book I actually already own, but now I have another copy of it. And it is City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I talked about this book. Actually, no, I showed you guys this book in my Most Owned Authors video. I kind of want to collect the hardcover copies of The Mortal Instruments because I have City of Heavenly Fire in hardcover. Why can't I have the other ones in hardcover? I found this one at the Bookworm. So I picked it up really cheap. I'm also not going to get rid of my paperback copy because it's the original one I read and I don't feel like pulling all of these out. So if I can collect them all in hardcover for super cheap, definitely going to keep the paperbacks and the hardcovers. I don't even know why I would, but I will. So yay! Next book I got, I got from the bargain section of Books A Million. I have never heard of it, but somebody randomly told me it was a really good book and I bought it. And it is Seventeenth Summer by Maureen Daly. This looked like a nice contemporary book. Obviously I was attracted by the cover. This seems like it would be a really interesting summer contemporary read. Uh, I have no idea if I'm going to read it soon or not. But um, a random person at the cafe in Books A Million said it was really good so I said okay and I knew then I was going to get it for sure. And now I have it. Yay! The next book I got has been really, really, really popular lately with the TV show out. Uh, if you haven't already guessed what I'm talking about. I'm not a big fan of the cover that I got, but it was the only one left at the bookworm because everybody bought all the other copies. And it is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. So, I haven't watched the TV show. I haven't started this book. But, 
there is huge, huge hype around the TV show, so I really need to get into the TV show and get into this book and slowly start to read it in the tiny print that it is. I hate this cover, that's for sure. Since the show got popular, everybody wanted the books. So all of the blue-covered books were gone. And this was the only copy they had, so I bought it because I told myself the next time I was at the bookworm I was going to get Outlander. And I did. So people encouraged me to read this because, damn it, I want to. And the next book I got, I have heard about this book from somewhere, but I cannot remember where. I think I heard it on Katie Tastic's channel. That is even questionable. It is Soul Screamers Volume 1 by Rachel Vincent. No idea what in encouraged me to buy this. So I have it now. Pretty sure I heard about it on Katie Tastic's channel. I could be wrong, but I think I did. And Soul Screamers. That just sounds really interesting. And apparently this is three books in one. It's My Soul to Lose, My Soul to Take, and My Soul to Save. How many more books are in this series? Because so far that's three. So I have no idea what this is about. Can I assume it's about Soul Screamers? Whatever those are. And those are all the physical books I received. And now we will go on to like the four or five ebooks that I picked up. So the first one I got is Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. I have no idea if you can see this or not, but I'm just going to assume that you can. There has been a lot of hype about this book, specifically from Sasha from A Book Utopia and Ben from Benjamin of Tomes. And I read the summary of this book, and my first thought in my mind was, once upon a time, even though it has, probably has like nothing to do with that, but it's what first popped into my mind, and I am addicted to Once Upon a Time. Season 4 premiere was amazing, and I can't wait for the second episode on Sunday. Anyway, I decided to get it, because I think it was free? I don't remember, but I got it anyway. And the next book I got is Stuff Every Geek Should Know. Uh, and this doesn't have an author, it just says curated by Quirk Books. And I got the Quirk newsletter in my email, and this was a free ebook that we had the chance to get. So I got it because I'm a geek. There's stuff I need to know. Stuff every geek should know. And again, there was another free book that I felt myself drawn to and needed to get because, hey, it was free. And it is Magic of Thieves Legends of. Dimmingwood, book one, by C. Greenwood. And this cover, it's like, kind of reminds me of Throne of Glass, uh, those covers. Um, and all I know, this is fantasy. I have no idea what this is about. None whatsoever. But again, it was free, and we like free. Free is nice. And the last book I got on my Nook, I'm really super excited about because I've been wanting to read this book. I want a physical copy, but... I got the ebook because it was only 99 cents on the EPUB book bargain things. Is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I've been wanting to read this basically since I joined BookTube, and the final book in the series comes out this month. So, um, I, I guess I should start reading soon. I'm really super excited to get into this book, and the thing, that, the good thing about this is, if I don't like it, it was only 99 cents, so it won't kill me. But I'm pretty sure I'll like it, because I like a lot of things that BookTube recommends. And that is it. That was my All About Them Books birthday slash everything else book haul. And oh my god, that took a long time. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Until my next book haul, which, lord, I don't know when that's going to be.